Now check this out. With EA Originals, we want all the profit. Hey everyone. Everyone in this community is focusing on making this game as best as it can be and expanding on the experiences that we've already had. <laughs> Was mich an Battlefield begeistert, ist die schiere Bandbreite an Dingen, die ich in diesem Spiel tun kann. I'll never be able to do that again in my life! He just disabled a moving truck with a grenade while jumping off a horse. <laughs> Incredible. This is my favorite one so far. I went early, Rog. I went early. The only way to make Cristiano look better is to jam him in spandex and capture his data. There is one question on everybody's lips. When are you guys actually going to release a good game? Last year at EA Play, we unveiled EA Originals. The profits from these games go back to the hands of EA Play. Stay the hell away from me, okay? Oh no. These people must have beat this whole boring ass game. It's pitch black. We need a light. Screw it. I'll go first. Ah! You okay? Hey, my name is Joseph Varis. Faris. Thank you, Joseph. That game is absolutely stunning, and I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it. And anti-bullying organizations, the Pacer Center, and Ditch the Label. We... No? Okay. Hello. He's not a girl gamer. What up, guys? I'm, um, I got my boy Marcus, executive producer here. He is the producer of the game. Thank you, Nick, for having me. EA's presentation this year was really disappointing. All they were really doing was shaking their dick on how they pretty much own the entire sports gaming scene. I think they were aware that the only game people cared about was Star Wars Battlefront 2. Which is why 90% of the presentation is them saying the word Star Wars. 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 I talked to YouTube after watching the presentation, and I saw that the trailers for Battlefront 2 had a really good like ratio, which is quite worrying to be honest, because you guys do realize they made Star Wars Battlefront 1, right? I understand that EA are trying to improve, but guys... Free DLC and a campaign does not instantly mean the game's gonna be great. The DLC could be garbage, and the story mode could just be Shadow Run bot matches. You did well, soldier. I mean, if you're excited, power to you, but just remember EA. <laughs> I, th I think that's all i got to say, really. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us here. Stay tuned to Battlefront2.com for more about the game. Why the fuck is I just in here? Of course. It all makes sense now. You ever wonder what the bottom of an Avatar shoe looks like? We are pre proud to welcome the newest member of the Xbox family, fittingly named Xbox One X. Exclusive, 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 exclusive world premiere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not an exclusive. Oh, wait, it's in 4K. Oh, my bad, guys. Yeah, it's, it's definitely an exclusive. World premiere. World premiere. World premiere. Exclusive. How will you decide who belongs? Thanks. I owe you. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Exclusive. 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 World premiere. You serve the bright lord now. Right, Lord, that Lord. Same thing, really. Today, I'm pleased to announce an exciting exclusive to the program. <laughs> Including world premiere. Yes, it's possible to take on these two things. Sometimes a tactical retreat is perfectly acceptable. 
in the spirit of that legendary pirate captain, Pathetic Dave. Boom dickhead. Microsoft's presentation was leagues above EA's, but EA's is usually set at the Bentley subglacial trench, so it's not like they had much competition in the first place. The exclusive lineup of games they had was actually decent for once. The last night definitely stood out the most to me. The stylized graphics really reminded me of Heart of Darkness or Another World, so I'll definitely be keeping my eyes on that. It's also nice that Microsoft are pretending to be real human beings and not a legion of lizard people by taking feedback from their customers, and they're now integrating even further backwards compatibility into older games, which is just great. Now I can play Beyond... No, I got that on Steam. Why would I? No. Microsoft did have its more wacky moments, however. They announced a, a car for some reason. Like the Xbox One X, it's a monster. They also had this guy announcing a Battle Royale-style game, which completely ruined the game, if you ask me. Looks like he's gonna sneak in on the back window. Here we go. Shot in the back. That's one wife. Immortal's in trouble. Somebody from Mixer decided to chime in! And they announced Minecraft in 4K. In my opinion, it should have been Roblox in 12K, but you know, we can't all get what we want. The bigger games they announced really didn't catch my attention. You've got Assassin's Creed, which is set in the Egyptian era for some reason, which means you've probably lost a lot of verticality there from climbing buildings. Is that a giant snake? Alright Ubisoft, you got my attention. State of Decay 2 looked more of the same. I enjoyed the original and played a lot of it, but the lack of polish and character development really made me fall off the game eventually, so hopefully they tweaked that with the second one, but you don't even have fucking lip sync in, in the, the world premiere, so you, good luck with that. Shadow of War looked decent. I like the guy they shown in the premiere. I call him uh, Discount Shrek. What? It's nice to see Metro has a new setting, not just skulking through subway tunnels again. Also, a new Life is Strange was announced, and I just have to say, Deck 9, do not fuck this up. You understand me? If I play this game and I see a single Doge meme, I will sue. You better run! You liar! Thank you. Thank you. Really, you're, you're too much. Yes, yes, of course, I know, yeah, okay, okay, already, can, can we just, come on, you are professional journalist. I have got a lot to show you. I have got a lot to tell you about, much of which will blow your mind up, is designed to subtly convince you to give us your hard-earned money. And when we hear that you're throwing money at the screen and we look into our bank accounts and that money isn't there, well, it's sad pandas and suicide watch for the accounting team. We call it Devolver. Digital screen pay. <laughs> Devolver digital earliest access. And we think it will be a revolutionary way to hastily rush unfinished game content out to consumers. Devolver Digital is now able to release new titles into the marketplace earlier than ever before. How much earlier? We are talking point of conception. A developer thinks an idea and bam, that shit's available for sale. Sound far-fetched? Wrong. Clamp your gob, you fucking moron. The servers are full of noobs with Devolver Common created content. It is you, the player, who is in control and it is available now already on every major forum, message board, and live chat. Give it up. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, what we have shown you here today is only the beginning. 
tomorrow's unethical business practices today, the future of video games and the future's future, future, the future's future's future, the future's future's future, the future's 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 future, the future's future, future, the future's future's future, the future's future's future, the future's future's future, the future's Go away. Introducing Creation Club, a collection of new game content for Skyrim and Fallout 4, including new weapons, new armor. Isn't that just the Chinese stealth armor from Fallout 3? Browse the selection in-game by category and use credits to download right there. Your new content will appear automatically. Creation Club content is made by... So, what's next? Let's start by talking about virtual realities. Bethesda's stuck in a time capsule at this point. The most successful franchises, Fallout and Elder Scrolls, they're not innovating them, making more additional content. They're either sticking half-assed virtual reality onto them, or turning it into a card game. I appreciate they're trying to help modders get some income, but in the long run, you're bringing paid mods back which sets a really bad precedent. The majority of stuff they announced was spin-off stuff, like Skyrim for the Nintendo Switch, but I'm definitely interested in the spin-off Dishonored and the new Wolfenstein game. What are you saying? You say you're Nazi? Oh, fuck this. Motherfucker! Let me say this again. I ain't no goddamn Nazi. In conclusion, AAA games they announced, good. Everything else, meh. And we thank all of you online for joining us. Please have a good night. And that was an awesome, that was an awesome new trailer for NAC 2. You play Becky Marnie, who is a homicide detective in charge of the investigation. It's nice to see they're bringing back the me customization. It has never been a better time to be a gamer. Thank you all, all our fans, all of you, for your support and for making PlayStation one of the most loved brands in the world. Hmm. I guess I'll clap. Dante, can the ladies come out to play? Be good. <laughs> Ebony, Ivory, care to dance? Hey, you got a bite. Don't let up. This is powered by a new next gen engine. Sony's presentation was definitely a mixed bag. I'm not too much of a Sony person myself, but some of the stuff they announced was amazing. Like, for example, Shadow of the Colossus. I never even played the original. I'm still hyped for this shit. Sony also announced God of War Beard Edition. Also, it's in Skyrim now, I think. And one of the more controversial titles was Destiny 2. Hey, hey, come, come, come back. It's it's not that bad, come back. The gameplay in the original Destiny was great, but they really messed up on the lack of narrative or story. You just felt like you were grinding, killing, grinding, killing, and there was no overall narrative progression. I hope to Christ they fix that in the sequel, or they'll just have a bunch of exclusives. Yeah, we're fucked. Hello, everyone, and thank you. We've always wondered what could happen if our crazy rabbits were unleashed upon the world of Mario. <laughs> Incredible. Today, the dream is reality. Who had this dream of Mario and the gaming equivalent of a minion? Voss? 
It is my great honor to welcome a very special guest. The first time somebody told me that, I don't know, I thought they were bullshitting me, so boom, I shot him. So what, what have you brought oh, with you? Well, what did you bring? <laughs> this is a life-size replica, a uh, one of the weapons from this game. Wow. So let's take a picture. So the rabbits have been teleported into the, uh, the Mushroom Kingdom, and it made the world completely unstable and chaotic. So Mario, as a true hero, wants to save the day. This sounds exactly like a DeviantArt fan fiction. <laughs> Did Mario just fucking kill someone? This seems like a pretty good game. This is the demo that we will be showing on the, the show floor here at E3. Bayek is riding into the Fayum, one of the, the regions in Egypt, this most southernmost region. It's a, a beautiful area. We see we've come in from the desert, moving oh. towards this uh, Lake Morris. And uh, let's have a little exploration around here using our eagle. How about you turn the brightness up? Your franchise is going nowhere. You guys are kind of douchebags. <laughs> We got piggies. Gunshots. Some of the stuff Ubisoft announced really caught me off guard, like the Rabbids and Mario crossover. I don't know why they chose Rabbids when they had Rayman. They probably should have chose Rayman, but whatever. The game itself seems to work like a turn-based strategy, kind of like XCOM. I just said XCOM and Mario in the same sentence. I'm most excited for Beyond Good and Evil 2, how they're going to expand the lore, because the universe already has such an array of weird and wacky characters. The game I'm most worried for is definitely Far Cry 5. The Far Cry franchise as a whole has this really horrible tendency to give you a really cool looking antagonist or like a sympathetic villain almost. So they spend all this time crafting this villain you're meant to despise and you see him about 15 minutes of a 30 hour game. By the look of it, Ubisoft have opted for a silent protagonist. I loved Jason Brody from Far Cry 3. Having this guy descend into basically madness over the course of a game, it was really interesting to watch. And then they fucked it up with RJ Garley in Far Cry 4. One of the most blandest protagonists I've ever played. Welcome to my church! Away from church! That sells guns? Of course! Behold the Lion of the tribe of Judah! The root of David hath prevailed to open the book and loose the seven seals thereof! Uh, I, I don't know what to say, I'm a boring protagonist. If they make your character a nameless mute or a very quiet passive person like RJ, they've really missed a massive chance to make the game more interesting. And Ubisoft, if you have no idea what direction you want to take your protagonist, just have him voiced over by a rabbit. The game is not fun, why bother? It's fun, 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 but the game is also something else. It's not fun, but in the end, it's not just where you can take your game. It's where your game can take you. You may have already heard about it during Bethesda's showcase that was held a few days ago. It was announced that select Zelda items will appear in the Nintendo Switch version of Skyrim. Oh, when did this Master Sword get in my hand? Bring people together. Play anywhere with anyone. Video gaming is not fun. I didn't care that much for what Nintendo was announcing this year, but holy Jesus, 
Super Mario Odyssey looks like it's gonna be amazing. In the original trailer, I thought the game was just restricted to a human city, kind of like Sonic 06. Are you seeing this? This is the... This game is broken! This is abysmal! But all these amazing characters and places they're showing, you've got Halloween Town from Nightmare Before Christmas, the T-Rex from the PlayStation 1 tech demo, and of course, you got a cameo from Carmen Sandiego. All in all, it looks like it's gonna be a stellar game. One problem. I don't have a Nintendo Switch. And it, again, it, it just works.